All right, guys. Uh, let me show you uh, because you wanted the real world, right? A real world presentation. Uh, I'll show you the biggest exchange futures exchange in the world it includes a number of different exchanges and that's the CME CME stands for Chicago Mercantile Exchange today it goes under the name of CME group and CME group uses a number of exchanges so it's a conglomerate of exchanges let's first take a look at the basic one when you go at the CME group, you can see different products. You got agriculture, energy, equity indices, Forex, interest rates, metals, options, over the counter, real estate, and weather. Uh, I can just pick maybe two to show you and to see how it works. Uh, let me start out first with metals and see what I can do on metals to show you. First, we just go here, products, and click metals. Hopefully, it uh, works and it runs. You think it's running, guys? Okay, it looks like it's uh, running. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, so now you can see over here are the top 10 metal products. Let's take a look at the top 10 metal products. Let's make the screen a little bigger. And you see the top metal products. Uh, number one is GC, standing for gold, gold futures. And you can also see the contracts. Gold futures has got an open interest of 4,000. Of 437,000 contracts. This is the open interest. Open interest tells you how many long positions you have. The number of long positions is always identical, the same to the number of short positions. And then you can see also the volume. And the volume is 338,000. So, about 70% of the open interest is traded in one day. This literally means that in a day and a half, in a day and a half, you trade the whole open interest. The whole open interest is turned over, is bought and sold one time. Then you see the next major contract is the Silver futures contract. Again, 160,970,000 9, open interest, and 87,000 will be the volume on that particular day. Uh, we've got to see which is the date. It's probably yesterday, Friday, or two, two days ago, Friday. It's going to be uh, November number seven. And then you can see copper futures. You also see gold options. Now, notice here that. All of these are traded on the COMEX. COMEX is uh, part of the NYMEX, New York Mercantile Exchange. You see how the open interest, oh, check this out. Gold options have a huge open interest. Almost 2 million open interest of options, okay? And then you see silver, the next one. It's got almost 300,000. Uh, let's try and click on one of these and see what happens. Now, you have here the top 10 metal products. You can click only by precious and see what's precious is trading. Remember, these are just top 10. In precious, you're probably going to have palladium, platinum. Let's see what else is trading on the precious. Okay. You got gold, silver, gold options, silver options, platinum is the third big one, palladium. Then you got E-micro, E-micro, gold futures, 100 ounce silver futures. This 100 ounce silver futures, I told you, was previously known as mini silver contract. And this is like mini New York gold futures, 
and gold weekly options, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. So now maybe we can try and click. Uh, let's see if there's been any trading over here. Let's see what is this mini New York gold futures, what it is. Again, I don't know exactly. We're going to click and find out. It's got a very low volume. It's got a very low interest. Oh, here it shows you, here it shows you contract specifications. And a contract specification always begins with the symbol. What is the product symbol? It's QO. Then it tells you where it's traded. It's traded on the CME Globex. So apparently need to understand what is Globex. Globex system is kind of like a global system that trades. It's an electronic traded only. Uh, that's a whole different story. So where is it trading? And it's trading at the CME Globex. And you see the hours from Sunday to Friday. All right, guys, enough, OK? Sunday through Friday. So you see, trading opens on Sundays, uh, on Sunday, 5 o'clock in the evening. OK? And it continues 5.15 and so on, Chicago time. And they got a 45-minute break each day beginning at 5.15 p.m. Okay, so it's like trading 23 hours a day. Next one is the contract size. Remember we were discussing size. Well, it's 50 troy ounces. So, I was telling you the full contract is 100 troy ounces. Then you got this is 50 troy ounces and the mini one I was telling was 33 troy ounces. So this is like half of the big of the main contract. Price quotation is in US dollars and cents per troy ounce. So the quotation is in US dollars and cents. And then it tells you the minimum fluctuation or the tick. And the tick is 25 cents. So it's going to be 1,225 cents, 1,250 cents, or 75 cents, or 1,201. So, next one, floating price. Floating price for each month is equal to the COMEX gold futures contract settlement price. Ah, oh, so this will not have its own settlement price. The settlement will come from the COMEX gold futures contract, okay? for the corresponding month on the third business whatever, okay? Termination of trading. So, termination of trading is kind of like last trading day. And trading terminates on the third last business day of the month preceding the delivery month. So, December contract will end trading in the middle of November. Okay, it's going to be on the third last business day of the month. Oh, it's actually going to be third last business day of the month. So if it's 31st, it's going to be about 27, 28, 29. Okay, two, three business days before the end of the month. Listed contracts. Trading is conducted for delivery in any. And these are the, the months. February, April, June, August, October. Okay, and December falling within a 24-month period within which 100 toy ounce gold is listed. So it will be matching the 100 toy ounce gold, OK? Settlement type is financial, whatever that means. That probably means cash settled as opposed to real gold. Settlement procedure. There is a daily procedure. There is a final procedure, whatever that is. You can click and find the contract. And position limits, there will be a separate page which will provide you all position limits. And the rule book chapter you can see is 911. It tells you what, where are the rules, okay? And it's very clear. These contracts are listed with and subject to the rules and regulations of COMEX, okay? So that's it. Let's try and go back to 
again and now we're going to see products agriculture and see what agricultural products are trading over there then we can probably go to a contract and actually see some prices and see what the prices look like so the top 10 contracts at least in the United States you'll see immediately the top contract is corn corn is the biggest, biggest commodity in the United States with what is it volume of 200,000 contracts okay depends on the size of 